guys, it's me, Shrek Rach, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I am doing a requested video, which is a video on how to create thumbnails for The Sims. So I've been waiting a super long time to make this video, and I don't know what took me so long, but here I am making it today. So enough with my chit chat, and let's let's just hop right into this because I don't want this to end up being a half an hour video. So. Let's just get right into it. So the thumbnail I'm gonna be making for this video is the thumbnail that I'm gonna be using on the video. So we're just gonna be making it with you guys. So I really like the color purple and pink. I'm just like, I'm not much of a girly girl. I just like the colors. I just, I don't know guys. So I like to go for a purplish type of look to my thumbnails. No, like very, purple, pink, pastel, stuff like that. So I think this one's gonna be more on the purple side. And um, this video, this is gonna be like a gradient type of thing, I think. So the program I use is paint.net. I almost forgot to mention that. I will leave a download in the description down below. But to get this gradient effect, I use the gradient tool right here and I just, make a nice gradient so I think we're just gonna go with this nice purple color and I might if I want to brighten it I can to like just change the color a little bit which I think I'm gonna do brighten up a little bit and I think that's really nice so now I'm gonna add a new layer and I have this picture that I already like use a lot it's like a bubble background type of thing i will show you guys if you want to use your own background you totally can but as you can tell i have a bunch of things saved that i like reuse a lot so that's that's something that's what i like to do I like to save the images i use in my thumbnails so i can use them for for later thumbnails so this is the background i use like all the time i love the way it looks and i'll show you what i'm going to do with it so we're just going to size this down, just like so, alright, and since this is purple, it'll work perfectly, um, and then I'll go to layers, layer properties, and I will select overlay, and bring that down, and it makes it transparent, so you can change how much transparent you want it to be, um, make sure it's invisible, and you can definitely play with the other uh options they have they have ooh this is actually kinda nice but you know do we like that I think I'm gonna go with that guys I, I just like the way that looks okay so after you have that transparency thing this part solely optional but we're gonna do that for this background we're actually not gonna do that okay add a new layer and now we're going to add our sim. So let's just go into the Sims 4 and we're gonna go into my screenshots. And let's see what I have. I have a bunch of screenshots. Next thing I do is I take this rectangle tool and I'll just crop out as much as background I can and then I'll press the delete button on my keyboard and just delete as much as I can. Then I'll take the magic wand tool and I'll bring down my tolerance. Let's see. Find perfect and 15 is pretty good. And just select the rest of that and great. So there we have our sim on our thumbnail now. What we do is to add a border around her. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but I like to do this. I like to duplicate duplicate the layer. And then what I want to do is I will take the paint bucket, splash that all over her, and then go into effects, Gaussian blur, bring it to about five, photo, glow, those are the settings, so make sure you have these settings as I do, repeat glow, and just keep on doing this a couple times until you like the thickness of it. I think this is pretty good. So. 
Before we uh, merge these layers down together, I actually want to do a cool effect I don't usually do, but this is going to be like a reflection thing. So like I said, I like to do thumbnails different each time. So for this one, I'm going to be teaching you guys a little something new. So what I do is I'll click on the layer that we used for her, duplicate it again, and now you can move it around and have two of these. So you're probably like, what is this for? You're going to click mer move layer down, click it one more time and make sure it's all under this part of her. Um, so now we have like a little bit of a reflection thing going on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into layers, layer properties, and go into overlay. So now, she blends in with the black background, but it, it just looks cooler. I don't know, I liked how this looks i've never really done this before i've done um invisible like i've done overlaid sims but i've never reflected them off like this before and i like the way this looks and i might start doing this more so now go back to the one where that's not transparent and merge it down to the white layer and now the, these two are stuck together so to add a little bit more definition to this sim so she stands out a lot more what I'm going to do is I'm going to click duplicate layer, select a black tool, and then I'll paint bucket right all over her like I did with the white. Do the same thing. And then once you have her all covered, move layer down. And I know it looks really choppy right now, but we will fix that. Go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, and five seems pretty Decent. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the rectangle tool, select all of it, and move that this way. Now if you like how it looks with both sides, you can definitely keep it, but I I think it'll look a lot cooler if I bring it over this way. And then what I want to do is go into effects again, blurs, motion blur, and bring it that way towards the direction it's going. And you can spread it out as much as you want. And what this does is just gives it a cool motion effect as if it was heading that way. So you can do it any direction you want. I think I'm gonna go down more. Bring the distance a little down and I like how that looks. And click OK. So here we go. This is our sim on our background and this just made our thumbnail so much better like if you zoom out that looks pretty cool and she really stands out and the sim in the background just adds a little cool reflection so i like how that looks and make sure you merge the layer down all right so now this is also optional if you want you can go into adjustments and brightness and contrast and you can change the brightness and contrast of your sim and i like how that looks Alrighty, so the next thing I like to do is more effects, but not on the sim now, just like towards the background. So sometimes I'll do like stripes in the background, sometimes I'll do swirls. This just adds that little touch of detail. Now, if you don't want to do this, you obviously don't have to do it, but I'm just going to be showing you different ways to add cool effects. So one way is to add like little emojis you could do that i like to do that sometimes i don't do it too much but here and there i'll do it you could add more transparent background you could add some cool pixelated things um for this thumbnail i'm thinking i'll add some like swirls across the screen so you could add a banner if you want just find things on the internet and just add a plumb bob whatever you want we might add a plumb bob into this, I'm not exactly sure yet, but, um, so make sure you add a new layer, and I'm going to show you how you can create a swirled effect across your screen. So, make sure your brush size is pretty big, it depends on how big you want it, I think I'm going to do like 100, no, a little less, that's pretty big actually, let's do about 70, that's uh, still pretty big. I think we'll go with a 60. So then it, what you have to do next is pick your color. I am going to go for a light purple. So you can obviously play around with your settings, but I'm going to go for a nice, a nice 
kind of pinkish purplish color something like that all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just push this right across the screen and I'm actually going to want this underneath my sim now I'm not I don't know if you can make these like super wavy but I do know you can do like a few curves here and there so just play around with this get it the way you like it and like I said this is all totally optional I like the look of that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down behind that layer and behind the sim so it looks like that and then what I'm going to do is click duplicate layer and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the sim and add a white border around it so click on that move it down and then click effects blurs and we will do about three this time since it is on a smaller object and then do photo glow and do it on the same settings and repeat the glow until you like the thickness already and I think that is pretty dang good so now once again you are going to click the top layer and merge them down so depending on if you want two of these you could duplicate the layer again and just add a second one um, I actually kind of like the way that looks so there you go that is your cool little detail obviously if you want add like sparkles to it um, you definitely can I think we're just gonna leave it plain because of the background now that we have going on back here I think we are pretty good so far so now we can move on to font and yeah we're just gonna move on to some font so like I said this is all personal preference whatever you want you can pick the fonts I get my fonts from defont.com so if you want to check out the website it will be linked in the description down below as well and I will have it on the screen if you want to check that out I really re recommend that site for free fonts. So I think for the first, for the how to, I'm going to use like this wasted font. And I'm going to keep on trying out fonts until I like how it looks. So if you don't like your font, you can obviously change it, which I might end up changing it. But we're just going to see how this one looks. So how to, I think we're going to do the how to like this. And you can obviously play with it in any way you like. Alrighty guys, so what I did was I did the same thing I did with the white border I did on both of these images, but I just did it with the black. So it's the same steps as usual, just this time I did the Gaussian blur down to one because I want this to be more thinner. Like I said, I don't want, I like things to be different, so if I have like a big thickness of border on each thing there might be one one image that I might want to have a small border on so maybe the text down here might have a bigger border than usual it might be different colors so what I'm gonna do is the merge layer down and add new layer so now for this one down here I like my I like my thumbnails to pop so since lots of this thumbnail is purple and pink and the only thing really popping out is the sim right here I think we're going to start adding some vibrant colors. So I'm going to take my white once again. I'm going to write my text in white and then I'm going to outline them in like brighter colors. So something like, like, um, maybe like a bright blue and like a bright hot pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my text. It's the same steps as usual, the same borders. So don't worry, I'm not doing anything new. I will definitely show you guys if I'm doing something different. So I'll be right back with you guys when I'm finished. Alrighty guys, so I am now back. And as you can tell, I did add the colors around my other fonts just to make them stand out. I do this a lot on my other fonts. Like as you can tell, it's on my channel banner. I have that yellow and the pink surrounding it. I just like to add that pop of color. It's in my 100 baby challenge fonts. So I do like to change things up a bit. And especially when you zoom out, it just makes, it makes the text really pop out. And I don't like to do it to all the text because I just feel like that's a little bit overwhelming. 
but I think just the main keywords like make thumbnails I think that's really important but yeah that is pretty much how I create my thumbnails guys I really hope this video was helpful in any way also this is a free program that I use I wish I had Photoshop because it seems so awesome it's a lot easier to edit thumbnails in there I have to do a lot more work when it comes to this program but I am still very grateful to have something at least because if I didn't have this program I would have no ways to make thumbnails so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And so if you have any more video suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.